Today we released a, a new white paper from Vertex Corporation, and this is some of the, the fixtures they've done. They use a PCTG ESD safe material. Again, this is one of our, um, a great material for electronics industry. Uh, they actually save 99% in costs and 80%, 86% in time on this application. And with those kind of cost savings, uh, machines like ours pay for themselves very quickly. But we just released the white paper, uh, we can make it available in the comments. Um, that's typical. Honestly, if you're not seeing at least between 80 and 90% savings in time and money, you should look at your study. Now, a lot of companies can claim that. Um, the difference with us is we can scale that process. So not only can you do one part and make that savings, you can do a thousand parts. You can do 11,000 parts a year and have those kind of savings. So that's really the difference. We also have some other interesting materials. This is a um, HTN CF25 material. It's a very good substitute for aluminum 6061. It rings like a high performance material, has a little bit of aluminum ring to it. Um, it actually, per mass, is stiffer than aluminum 6063. So if you design a part for additive and put uh, material in the right spots by, you know, by some simulation, it can be stronger than aluminum 6061, the final product. But what's interesting here, we do a, um, we're, we're stacking these things when we print them. What's interesting, we use, this is actually support material we broke off instead of melt, melting off or washing off. But we printed it in air, that's actually uh, bridging. And so instead of filling this whole pocket with support material, we just bridge across, so you have a flat plate, so it's much less material. This is expensive material compared to the nylon CTF, and we put this right on top and print it. And when you're done, you have two parts on the same area of the bed, so you can really add to production and cut down the quantity of relatively expensive support material, support material you're using. We also have an Altum that is, is world class. This is the same Altum that's been certified for aerospace. We're working on certification for aerospace. This material is very nice printing. That's what we're printing on the machine before. On the dual head machine, we do have support materials are a very standard part of our process. So before on our single head machine, we had to do support in the same material as the part. Now we're able to do support materials with um, the standard PVA, Aquasys, a bunch of different uh, types of support material, and really adds the flexibility of the machine. This is an interesting material. This is an ESD safe soft TPU, and it's red, so we can make ESD materials and colors other than black. This is an ESD safe material. It also does not leave conductive uh, debris. When you, if you rub this against a piece of paper, it's totally clean, so it does not leave a conductive dust like some of the other ESD materials in the industry. But as a nice soft cap, this is used for a couple of aerospace applications for actually throwaway ESD safe caps and covers for electronics to go into space. So this is an application that was really hard to solve because of the customized nature, the small volume, and this allowed them to do an ESD safe material for electronics assembly for satellites. The other reason to use things like this is also for an explosive environment. Say you're, you're printing aluminum powder, which is rocket fuel basically. So ESD safe caps are a safety measure in that industry as well. Oil and gas, places with explosive mixtures, places where you don't want sparking. ESD safe materials are a great way to uh, increase your safety and flexibility and reduce costs.